I don't know if I want to go after that. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, I'm not a public speaker. I'm, I'm your boots on the ground guy. Um, I've been with the sheriff's office for 25, actually 27 years. 18 of that working in the school system, um, starting as a school resource officer and working my way up to now supervising the school resource officers. Um, I guess Okaloosa County is, is different, of course, in demographics than a lot of other counties that surround us. Um, it affords us an opportunity to do some different things that uh, I felt and uh, the sheriff felt with, uh, with his support, naturally, uh, nothing would uh, um, happen without his support of our, of our school resource officers. Of course, he shut down a lot of departments in our agency to put resource officers in every school. When we talk about restorative justice and we talk about trauma, uh, one thing that we did um, in Okaloosa County that I felt, because I worked my way up through the schools, my wife is also is a uh, emotionally handicapped teacher. She's not emotionally handicapped, she reminds me. Uh, that I sought her out because I was the emotionally handicapped person. So um, I got to learn a lot of um, what we call students with special needs and what they go through by seeing the things that my wife had to deal with and what she went through with her students. My wife is one of those people that uh, I can't tell you how many people we put through a soccer camp, basketball camp, found them jobs, uh, sent them to places where their families couldn't afford to send them. Uh, my wife would come home and say, hey, and I have six kids of my own. So I'm saying, okay, I can get another job. Um, so off-duty details uh, were, were high on my list. When we started looking at things that we could do, my big thing was having my wife as a sounding board, was educating our school resource officers in areas where a lot of resource officers don't get education. So when we talk about special needs, all of our resource officers have to go through what we call CPI, um, de-escalation techniques. Um, it's a state certification that usually is for teachers. Um, so we, um, our guys have to go through that and they have to be certified in de-escalation techniques. They also have to go through uh, um, training in autism. The other thing that, that we are, uh, and I know Scambia does the same when you're looking at hiring school resource officers, you, you look at you know, their family dynamics. So when we started putting a bunch of resource officers in the school and the sheriff gave us carte blanche to pick who we wanted, we looked at family dynamics. And I think one of the things that helped us was my deputies who have special needs children, I put in special needs schools. Um, my, uh, my overachievers and my people who could write curriculum, 98% of our school resource officers um, are degree holders. I have, uh, I think now, five that have their master's degree, some in counseling. So I took those people and they actually teach some of the courses in our county for de-escalation and stuff, and I put them in my tougher schools so that I have that person who also has a psychology background um, to look at things different. Um, so I've been fortunate. I'm fortunate that uh, in the right time, in the right place, the right people came forward and we were able to have a big selection, um, probably more so than a lot of agencies when you start looking at those things. Um, I appreciate getting invited to come over because, um, of course, I'm a short Italian guy who, if I talk, I keep talking, so I, I promise I, I'll try not to do that. Um, but uh, I think the other thing that I see is that um, going down to Tampa and sitting on the Juvenile Justice Partnership Group um, and listening, listening about trauma research. Um, I'm a product of child abuse. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm also a product of molestation. I'm not ashamed of that. Um, product of a single parent. I'm not ashamed of that. Um, how did I survive all that is now what I teach my guys to look at when uh, we're dealing with people who might act out. Um, we had a student this morning that uh, told one of my SROs some colorful words. Um, and before we were done with it, they were in handcuffs. We de-escalated them. At the end of it, the questions that we teach them to ask is, um, why? Why did he do 
the, the things that he did. And in the end of it, it was uh, pretty simple. You know, coming from a, a single parent family, I understand um, some of the challenges some of these youth have. So um, with that, I uh, will turn it over to my esteemed colleague.